we protect the proper flow of time. You picked up the Tesseract, breaking reality. I want you to help us fix it. I've always been fascinated by the ancient world, um, but that's probably because it, I studied it at school. Ancient Egypt would be really fascinating because I'm really intrigued by Cleopatra and how she ruled things. You know, I tend to think about going back to uh, kind of, you know, war things like, oh, I'd love to go back and see, uh, you know, what the uh, Battle of, um, you know, Custer's Last Stand look like. She's been interpreted in so many ways, mostly as sort of this sort of sexy, manipulative woman. And I sort of wonder if she really was like that. You know, you hear she spoke so many languages and, and she really was ruthless with her own family. So I, I'm curious to see what the real Cleopatra was like. The Renaissance would be, I think, pretty amazing. See some of those works of art being created, all those extraordinary buildings being built. Maybe I should be thinking more about, oh, going back to see when Shakespeare wrote something, but I tend to sort of drift towards uh, yeah. wanting to see uh, <laughs> war. I would go to my wedding day and I would marry my wife again. My instinct is just to go personal. I kind of always want to know what my parents were like when they were kids. Maybe I'd go back and see Empire Strikes Back in theaters. I love the movie Jaws, like it's my favorite movie. I would love to go back and go watch that in the cinema with people and just experience that. Yeah, you could go forward. Maybe that's a better way to be thinking. Uh, I'm not sure if I would want to travel to the future. <laughs> um, I think it's probably good that the future is unknown and, and uh, yeah, I think that would definitely fry my brain. I suppose the secret, the secret is to sort of try to be content with where you are, right?